Hello, my name is Carl, and today I'm going to talk about the gap form and the gap form settings you can apply to get the best possible gap form experience in your organization. So what is the gap form? Well, if I open a base form like this and I edit an item and click OK, I get this form and this is the gap form. And here I am required to enter a change comment in order to commit my change. And we have built in a number of uh, handy functions here. You have a drop down list of your last used change comments. So th that's the top three items here. And then we have the possibility to add company wide uh, generic items that you can select. Uh, we have something called suppress suspect down here, which is related to the suspect state. And I'm going to talk about that uh, in just a bit. And these, this behavior can be configured and the behavior is stored in a configuration file in your template directory. And this uh, file is called the gap form settings XML. And if you open that in Notepad, you see it's a really, really short XML document and it contains a number of important settings. So the first one is the maximum number of user settings. And as you've noticed, uh, your entered change comments will appear in the dropdown of the gap form as a rolling list. And here you can set the size of that rolling list. The default value is five. So the five most recent change comments that you have used is going to be displayed in that dropdown. You also have the possibility to change or add or remove those standard user comments that is always added to the dropdown. And here you can, on an organizational level, add uh, standard change comments that you all agree on, make sense for your organization. And everybody knows that when you use a particular standard change comment, that has a particular meaning in your organization. Uh, then we have the allow auto reuse. Um, switch here and if you set that to true the gap form uh, dialog is going to be populated with your most recently used comment automatically and we're going to change that i'm going to change that so we can see that behavior and i'm also going to uh, activate this allow suppress suspect and save this change comment and these changes are not applied until I reload the project. So I'll exit the project here and reload it. And here we go. I open a user need. I make some change. I click OK. And we can now see when I enable this auto reuse that my last use change comment is automatically placed here in this text field. And I can now only click, I can now just click OK um, to commit this object. So it's even faster. And we can also see that this suppress suspect checkbox has been enabled. And as you might already know, if I change an item that has a trace to other items, the trace to those other items will be set to suspect when I make a change to a parent item. Now, the most common reason why anybody would make a change uh, to a design control item is to correct spellings or to make a formatting change. And of course, that doesn't have any impact on any uh, child items. And therefore, we can take responsibility for this action and override the suspect mechanism by clicking this checkbox when we commit the change. This is, as you've seen, a setting in the gap form that enables or disables this functionality, and you can then set it on a template level. That's all from today. Thank you for watching.